Welcome to part two of this LinkedIn series. We're going to go ahead and talk about your dashboard and activity. Your dashboard is the way to evaluate the effectiveness of your own profile content and posts. You can see who's viewed your profile. You can see how many views your recent posts have had, how many search appearances you've appeared in recently. This is all important data for you to evaluate how effective and engaging is your profile and the content you put out there. Go back and look. Our posts with content you created, getting a lot of engagement and likes, our posts that you share, articles you share, is that what people are commenting on? Go back and look and start to tailor your content based on the data that you're looking at. Don't just put information out there or content out there. See what is getting traction, what is bringing people to your posts, to your profile. If you're an active job seeker or even a professional who's content in your role but might be thinking about your next opportunity, the career intersection is very important. We're going to go ahead and click on that. It's a way to let recruiters know that you're open. You have 300 characters here to show your concise and effective writing skills. Let recruiters know what you're looking for. This is another passive way to engage a recruiter. Let them know what you're interested in. And it does note here that LinkedIn tries to make it so your current company isn't aware if you're actively looking for a job, but they really can't guarantee that your company is not aware or that they wouldn't see this information. Your career interests. Let people know. Are you casually looking, actively applying, not looking but open to offers? Think about what you want to communicate to a recruiter looking at your profile. What job titles are you considering? Where do you want your next job to be located? Are you open to working remotely? These are all pieces of information that can help a recruiter understand what you're looking for and whether or not it makes sense to connect with you and reach out to you. Okay, let's look at activity. LinkedIn is wonderful at giving you opportunities to illustrate your communication skills, your personal brand, who you are as a person. One opportunity is to write articles and post them on LinkedIn. If you have competency in a particular area, this is your opportunity to get it out there, share an article. When you do that, it becomes part of your profile and it allows other individuals to see your writing skills, see your competency, see your industry knowledge. If you publish articles, through other sources, make sure to not only share those as part of your network, but also post them as LinkedIn articles and link back to the original postings. You can also see activity. This is one of my favorite pieces of LinkedIn because it will allow anyone who looks at my profile to see what are my communication skills. What I really want people to see is that I uh, have positive communication, that I'm competent in the areas of my industry. Folks can see the articles that I've written. They can see the content that I'm posting. They can see uh, all of my activity. They can see what I've liked. They can see the, you know, comments that I've written. All of this is important for someone looking at my profile to see who I am as a person. So go ahead, look at your activity. If a recruiter or any individual on LinkedIn was looking at your profile, what would they see? And if you have no activity, LinkedIn has that deserted island. You don't want that. This is an opportunity. Show who you are as a professional in this virtual space. It will give a hint of who you will be as a team member. And it's also important to note that because all of your activity can be seen, you really want that activity to be professional and show that positive personal communication style. All right, that's what we got for section two. Join me in section three where we start to talk about your experience.